What's up, everyone? My name is Ruben. We're in welcome to part two. We're going to dive into custom post types, global blocks within breakdance. Are you ready? I am. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Ruben, and I'm building a better website. With what? With a breakdance. Today, we're going to dive into custom post types and how the global blocks, how the global blocks actually work within uh, breakdance. We're going to pull data into the website, make it look cool, super simple stuff, nothing too complicated. Let's dive in. So this is the current live website. We're going to pull in the testimonial section. We're going to pull in this area. It's like, I think three or four testimonials. We're also going to recreate this portfolio page, the recent work. We're going to pull in some, some images, some dynamic content we created with Metabox. And I'm excited. Super simple, quick video. Shouldn't take maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So if you can bear in with me, I'm going to teach you some things today. This is the site where we're building. This is the site we did on part one. So first things first, go to the back end of the website. Um, as you can tell, I already added the custom post types, projects, and testimonials. I'm using Metabox. You can use Metabox or you can use um, advanced custom fields and think CPT UI. I believe those are free plugins. Um, I don't know. If, I, I believe Metabox is free. Don't do not quote me, but I have the lifetime access to it. So I don't think about it anymore. I think I bought this like two, three years ago. I've never thought about it again. So um, Metabox, I know there's a couple new different companies that do custom fields. So choose what you want. I believe some builders have to be compatible with them, but I'm using Metabox or advanced custom fields are the kind of the standard. So we use one of those to create those, those two elements within your WordPress, uh, within your WordPress website. So I added projects. I have one, two, three, four, five projects here. Um, sim super simple projects. So it's just the title of the post, a subcategory, and then just the image of the galleries. That's it. So if we go to testimonials, is this, let's go to Steven, for example, Steven has his title. And then on the content of the, I'm not using breakdance to fill in the data. You don't need to do that. So we, in the content of the post, we just added their testimonials. Sometimes people do like really advanced versions of these, you know, with um, business titles, star ratings, you use custom post types, or excuse me, a meta box to create those custom fields. And then it will pop up here. For example, let's go back to projects, the Armstrong family here, you will see like the star rating. You can drop down and select the star rating. You can select if it came from Yelp, from Google, different elements like that. You can add um, with your custom um, with meta box, but on this project specifically, I'm not doing that. So, Return to the back end, hover over breakdance and type in global blocks. So the first thing we're going to do is do um, the testimonials, the testimonial block. So let's add that first. So um, click on edit with breakdance. If you change settings, if you click on settings, all that does is allow you to rename the block if you need to. So the first things first, let's add a section we're going to add a text element for the text and then we're going to add a heading we're going to change that to h3 for the size you can obviously change the size if you need to so when you're previewing things within breakdance you have to find the actual element so i think it's called testimonial archive where it pulls in the actual archive itself so it's going to pull in the first i think the most recent post so now, so as you, you're telling me, Ruben, I don't see anything. I don't see my dynamic data. So you have to connect it. Click on the basic. Oh, let me do a gap of 30. So the gap of 30 is between the spacing between the testimonial and the 
heading itself, which in this case, a heading would be the name of the person. So click on the element, move your mouse over here, just as the word text and where you can type in things and look for the little server icon that allows you to add dynamic data. Since I'm using the post, I'm not you doing anything fancy. I'm using the post content, which is that little area you can type into. Pull it in. Boom. It's there. Click on the heading itself. Do the same thing. Look for the little server icon and do the post title. Because remember, I put the name of the person in the post title because you have to name everything within breakdance, or excuse me, within WordPress. So I just use the title just to be the person's name. So I don't have to create a new custom field, add a name and then have double names, you know, makes it easier for me. Next thing you do is click on the section, put a line center. I like to add a little bit of line height to the actual text. So hit the little, you know, the design icon typography, look for the word advance, select that and do two point. I like 2.4. You can use whatever spacing line height you want to use. You want to use RAM, use RAM. You want to do whatever you want. I don't care, but I like 2.4. So that's it, right? So we're not done yet. So what happens is when you create the element within the blocks, for example, in this case, let me change the background here. Let me change the background to this. As you notice, there's spacing between the top of this little section of the top of the, like the, the builder and then the top of the element that spacing will be inherited into the block when you post it into the front end. So you have to remove all that. I don't know if there's a different way to do this, but this is how I figured it out. So um, you can use a div that doesn't have any spacing, but since I like to kind of visually see what I'm working on, how it might potentially look. So first things first, let's remove the black background color. Look for spacing here and the padding. We're going to change that to zero. Right. So now we remove the padding and the spacing. I don't want to remove the spacing here on the left and the right. And I'll show you why. And this is what I've encountered on clients website. So I don't remove the spacing on the left and the right. I do remove the spacing on the top and the bottom. And I, I will show you why. So now this is the global block. I want all the information to be pulled from this global block pertaining to the testimonial. So now visit the front end edit the front end with a uh, breakdance. I'm going to edit the home page, scroll down to where you want this to be. And it's going to live between this section and this section. So click on the section above it, add a new section, change the background color. It's that brownish, nice brown color here. Hit the plus sign on the section and then you're going to type in post and it's post loop builder. We're building a loop of post, right? So it's going to ask you, what do you want me to display breakdance? You're going to tell breakdance. I want you to pull the testimonials, right? As you see, it's pulling a default to post, right? But that doesn't matter. We're going to click here, Curie. We're going to hit a custom. You want something custom. You're going to edit and you want it to include the source. You want it to include you get rid of post and you wanted to include testimonials and then apply that and then boom dynamically everything pops up one two three four five all five of the posts on your back end pop up but we don't want that sometimes you do sometimes you don't in this case let's edit the design on the post it was on the list yeah on the list option you have an option we have three options list which we have here, grid or slider. We want the slider. Boom. Technically you're done. You've added the, you added the testimonies into the slider technically, but we're going to just stylize, um, the slider just a bit. Let's do the arrows. I like to do the color of the arrows. We can do black. Mm, yeah, black looks good. And I'm going to change the color. There's tons of options on here. So I'm just keeping it simple because the client has it simple. I don't need to complicate it. And then I want to change the color of the bullets. Um, you can do the red. Um, that doesn't see mm, the black looks good. I don't know. I actually like her gray. So now we've officially added a global block with um, the testimonials dynamically pulling in. So whenever you go on the back end and you add a new one, it's an 
automatically populate here as well. Um, I think there's a way to make this um, slider infinite. Yeah. Enable it. I don't know what this does. Well, infinite means it just can just keep scrolling over and over so it doesn't stop. So I like that. So now let's add it heading. Move this element above the globe block. I like to center align everything here. And this says what? So we can double click here. Oops. What are people, oh, people, people saying? I can't type for some reason today because I'm nervous. Uh, let's change this to an H2. Um, I like to add a little bit of spacing. I do 20 pixels. And that's it. I have officially recreated a slider pulling the testimony. That's how easy it is with breakdance. Just remember, if I wasn't making a video, this would be done within five minutes because I'm not consciously thinking. I'm just clicking, clicking. I know what to do. Boom, 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 boom. Let's add it and we're done. So that section's done. So let's go back and create a new global block. And now this will be the actual, um, will be the actual projects. So projects. So this is how the blocks are displayed. So let's go here, go to projects, edit within breakdance. Let's add on this occasion, I'm going to add a div and I'll tell you why once I built the loop. So I added the div because the div doesn't have any spacing and I'm going to let the loop builder itself add padding because what's going to happen is all these elements are going to be touching, but I'm going to do the settings of the loop builder, adjust the gap between each card. Watch. So we're going to, what I'm talking about is this. If I add the spacing here within the global block itself, it's going to add additional like padding in between each card. So now I'm going to design it with no, with no um, spacing. So when I bring it into the, the front end and edit within breakdance, I can add the gap between each card. So if that makes sense, if not, uh, hopefully by the end of this video, it will, it will make sense. So the first thing we have to do is add an image. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to add a heading. The next thing we're going to do is add a text because we have to have like, we have a subcategory. Let's add a little gap between these. So actually I'm not going to add a gap. I'm going to add padding underneath the image itself. I don't know if there's another way around this, but this is what I do. Actually, let's just do this. So let's. Because normally what my gut feeling is I have to make this image 100% like width wise, right? But I'm not 100% sure in this case. So now we're going to select the post and pull in the featured image. Uh, so you did it automatically. Ooh. Go to the heading here because remember we're using a div. A div doesn't have any con doesn't have any padding by default, but if you use a section, it will have default padding that breakdance adds to each of those elements, right? That's why whenever you add a section, it's in the middle, kind of a little bit below the bottom versus if you add all divs, it's going to add um, zero space and you have to tell it what to do in the, in the layman's term, the simplest way I can explain it. So now this will be the post title because remember I use the name as a post title. Then you click on the text element, hover over, look for the little I server icon again, the dynamic data icon, and look for the category that's called MetaBox. Here, because we added a, within MetaBox, we added a subcategory title. Boom. So we have the name. Let's change the tag to H3 because I don't want this super big, and that's fine. And here on the image, I'm going to add a small little border. I like the. 25. No, actually let's replicate it exactly the same way. So now we're done. We technically have the whole card here. This is technically this. I know it looks different, but we're building out the card. So whatever you want the card to look like you design it here in the back end with the, with, um, with the global block, right? Then you, we're going to pull that global block into breakdown. So let's do that now. So before I forget, 
<laughs> so this is my third time recording it. The reason why I had to re-record it, I was stuck on this screen the entire time as I was editing the whole I'm literally talking the explaining everything. And this is where the camera was at. And I just realized and I said, oh my God. I just wasted 25 minutes of my life. But I've learned and I'm improving. So now that you're here, right? You've created the card. The, you created the global block. Now we're going to close this out. And um, let's go to um, the back end. Go to the front end here. So now it's in a lift between these two elements. So we go to break dance, hover over the break dance in the top, open home. Click on the element or the section above it and then add a section. Because you, as you see, um, from here to here, breakdance adds padding by default. Most page builders do this by default. So it's not nothing exclusively to, to breakdance. So it adds padding, right? So whenever you added a div, so let's, for example, let's add a div. But I think if I add a div, it's an added within here. But if you add a div, there's no padding. Let's just do that. Let me show you. So really quick, just two seconds here. I know I'm deviating, but uh, let's move the div outside of the section here. Here, let me collapse all these. Can you even do that? Well, maybe you can't even do it. Usually you should be able to drag it, but anyway. It doesn't matter in this case, it doesn't matter on the global blocks. So let's get rid of this, this div. Add, oh, my eye hurts. Um, let's add the global, global blocks. Sorry guys, this ain't, you're gonna get a raw version of me. This is who I am, I'm not a personality. Well, I'm a little crazy, but that's just me. So let's add projects. Um, you want to edit the block. I actually don't want to edit the block. No, I don't want to edit the global blocks. What am I doing? I'm going to add a loop. I'm going to add a loop, a post loop builder. I'm going to select the block I created. You're going to have to tell it where do I get the data from, right? So we're going to do the Curie Builder. And we're going to add mm, projects. Um... And boom, obviously we don't want this. We want a grid. So let's design it. So click here, let's go to list, choose the layout we want. We want a grid layout and we want three per row. Boom, you're done. You've added, officially added the block you created before. I know, remember it looked really big, but since we're adding it within the actual element itself, it changes it. So. The spacing, let's change the space between the elements. So let's do zero. Adds a little bit of padding. Let me see where that padding comes from. Is it the container? It's not, not this. I don't know where the padding comes from. Mm, not here. There's a small little padding somewhere. We'll find it one day. Or maybe it's by default because of the grid, but it's, yeah, you can tell, look, there's padding here as well. So. This is probably within the element of the loop builder itself. But I like that. Um, yeah, let's do that. That's fine. But it looks good off the default. Let me see if I change this to 100%. No, it doesn't do anything. That's just a width. And that's fine. I think it looks amazing by default, right? I don't have to do the whole point of breakdance is you don't have to do much tweaking. Um, I might change the size, the sizing of the text. But other than that, I think we're done. So let's, oh. I'm not done. So let's add a heading and let's add the words, do an H2 and let's add the word recent work. And then you center align everything. I like to add a little bit of padding of 20 or 30 pixels. And that's it. So now let's view this website on the front end. So remember, remember, we added this. We added the testimonial slider using the loop, the post loop builder. And now we added this. We added the, the projects. 
so whenever you click on it's not selectable yet but once you click on it you do this within the global box you make it go to the post so i might end up adding a button but now i think that's it hold on let's go back to the back end and let's go to breakdance global blocks and that's probably what i forgot to do so you go to projects Then you select, you have to change the preview and attachment to project post type or to the project, right? The archive, click on the image itself. And you want that link, the, the full URL, and you want that to go to the post type. Is it here? Let me see. It should go by default. There's a way to add it. Oh, here it goes. Dynamic data. Yeah. So you want it to go to the post permalink. So I was trying to add a link that's outside of that. So we have to do is go to URL, hover over it. That's right. And then post uh, post um, permalink. So whatever the name of that you created, right? So and then here at the bottom, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of spacing. Let me add a button. Let me add a button. Um, B U T button. I'm going to change this button here. Add a little bit of spacing underneath this 30 pixels. And I'm going to do view, but I'm going to change the button to a text. I don't want it to, you know, prom. I don't want it to like overlap right? or be like big button shout out. So let's do view this, this project and then here click on the word link oh not there here boom mm, I don't like the underline so click on the text uh, typography advance decoration get rid of the underline but what you what we can do is add a little fancy underline. Oh, actually, let's add an arrow. We can add a cool little arrow when you hover over it. No, not that arrow. Which arrow do I like? I like this one. No, number three. I've used these before. Number three. Yeah, I like that one. You see, it kind of, when you hover over the little arrow expands. So now we have, ooh, maybe this should go to, yeah, because sometimes people click on that. Can you add that? I don't think we can add that. We have to, wrap it with a linker but i'm not gonna do that but it should be pretty obvious you click on the photo or view this project here at the bottom so you close this out let's go back to the back end and i hope i'm explaining myself right if not let me know in the comments below yeah that actually looks good so when you click on the project there's nothing there because we have to create the template and i would do that really quick But that's it on that area. So boom. So now all the links work. So now well, let's go to breakdance. Let's add a template. A template is a page that you don't technically have to design. You design it once and it applies to all of them within that category. So let's add a template and it is a single post, right? So, but all this post, the settings of this, oops, cancel. Um, not a single post. What is, which one is it? Mm. Let me delete this. Cause there should be a way. I'm not removing this because I want to, it's not a post because the post archive. Oh, because I should be able to add it to not a single post, but it should all the post archive so it supports archive let me see this one no i remember it having a because the post archive is that page you saw right with all the elements i don't want that let's just do single post and there should be a way i don't know why my mind's going blank i've done this before
Mm-hmm. Oh, added custom. I'm so I'm a dingus. I was in Trumpville for a second. So let's add a custom element here. And we're gonna do we're gonna call this uh what is it? Projects, projects, project, project template, template. You can name it whatever you want. You want this to apply to all the projects. That's what it is. So you have to add a custom one because the the ones I were the ones I remember now, the ones I'm adding just apply to the ones that actually are called post. You know, the, the post within a WordPress. But now I'm creating a new template, a custom template, then I want that to apply to just the projects. I want to apologize. I was in Chumpville for like 10 seconds until my mind started working. Usually people edit this stuff out. I'm not going to edit out. We're all human. We're trying our best. And I just want to build better websites. So, <laughs> so um, let's go here. So now that I've created a section here. So let's take a look of what this one looks like. Mm. Oops. Here. So it's a banner image. And then just displaying all the images and then a booking form at the bottom. I'll do the booking form on the next video. So let's just build it out. So now let's add uh, a section. Let's do, let me see if I can do from the library from this website I created. Um, I don't want the slider. Okay, let's just create it from scratch. So now let's add a section. And, and it has, what does it have? The title and it has a, okay. So it has a, a heading. Also has, um, I'm gonna do that at H2. Then I also, no, let's do actually, yeah, H2. Let's do an H1. And then we have a text element, all right? And that all that is, it's center aligned, right? Okay, so it's centered. But now the size of this, the height, I want it to be, mm, we can do 600 pixels, see what that looks like, 600 pixels. So now you click on this, you see the text is up top. So now we're vertically align everything to the center. So now, the background of this will be dynamic data. So you click on image and look for the little server icon. I wish these icons were a little bit bigger, but on the word image, right, be right above where you choose it. Boom. I like that. Mm. So change the text color to white. She uses an off white heading. Obviously that's not what it's going to be. Oops. Let's change this to the color typography to white. She has an off white. Okay. So now actually I want a little bit bigger. So go back to the size and let's do, let's do 70 view, view height. So 70% of your screen will be this. I think that's better. Um, the heading click on heading. Um, you're going to click on the little server icon and do post title click on the server icon again and then that will be this will be the meta box subcategory but the cool thing is that you can add verbiage before this so we're bucat category category boom let's make this all caps the client likes all caps so transform it i like to add two pixels of spacing and we can change the size to what 16 uh 16 no that's what it is now 14 14 is good i like 14. so boom so the heading's done like the um the banner the hero section let's add a new section and we're gonna pull in a gallery i think it's a gallery feature but i want this i don't want the official gallery. I want the meta box gallery. Boom. We can take off the box, the layout. Let's change the layout. Let's do two by three. No, let's do four by three. No, let's do 16 by nine. No, 
21 by 9? No, that's the movie theater stuff. Do one by one and let's do two. I like that. And let's get rid of the captions. I don't. Uh, can I get rid of the captions? Yeah, never. Click on never. And actually on the images, I do want it to pop up. Mm, where's that at? Where's that feature at? Layout. On hover. Can you out? Oh, look, I like all this. Look at all the stuff you can do. I didn't, I, I didn't know this was possible. This is actually my first time doing this. And I just realized how easy it was. I like slide up. And has a linear, oh, I like that. Light box. Change the link to light box. And that's how easy it is. I, I'm in shock learning. <laughs> Sorry guys, I forgot I'm recording a video. So hit save. Interesting, interesting. I was too excited and I figured I forgot what I was doing. So now let's add, this is actually the first time I, I'm seeing this, this element and how easy it was to add it. So now we're gonna add a, mm, Oh, a booking form. So now I'm not going to do the booking form here, but I will add it quickly. Uh, booking or form. Form builder. And then change the background to a different color. I like that color. I like that color too. No. Mm -hmm. Let's do, let's do the red. I haven't done the red. And there's an icon. So every every page will have this form, right? Right. So let's add a heading. Um, actually, let me do brown. I want to do the brown instead. Um, it's cool brown. So this will be. Um, it says book me, but I'm gonna send me send me up. send me a message. So just to center all the text, click on high um, layout, center align, click on the element. And I like to add a little bit of, oh, add a little bit of padding right underneath it. 30 pixels, 30 or 20. And we're going to stylize this form here in a minute on this next video, but that's it. So now let's view this on the front end. So exit, um, hold on. Click on this because I, I noticed on the overlay it's going to have. Uh, um, now let's change this to the active color. I noticed that when I was clicking through things. That, so now, boom. I like that. Then you can spend time messing around with all the settings. But let's let me take a look at one thing. Oop, open the archive template. Let me take a look at one thing on the layout. Actually, I like I like this better. Is it justified? No, I like this better. Yeah, because I like the way the images like stack better this way. Yeah, I like this. This is perfect. Love it. And we're done. That's all we had to do. Oop, I'm going to make this icon. Let me do that right quick. Now, uh, let me edit the header. I'm going to make that go back to the home page. Mm. Make this button here. Go back to the home page. And that's it. Let's take a look at the front end of the website. So now, yeah, it goes back to the home page. So we added this just to summarize. We added the slider for the testimonials, which works perfectly simple out of the box, minor tweaking. We've added, um, a recent work. So you can actually click on the image or click down here. So let's click this guy, this family here. I'm going to change the positioning. I might do like a little darker background, but 
Boom, look at the images and the form based on the template. And that's how easy it was. Um, and that's how easy it was to, to do the global blocks within Breakdance. Super easy, like I said, um, as you noticed for a minute or two, I dozed off just clicking around of all the settings and all the things you can do within the block. So, oops. But my name is Ruben and hopefully you learned something today. If you did, please leave a comment below and let me know. I would appreciate it. Thank you for watching.